So my friend Alex is here again at another 3D printing convention. You look tired, buddy. You tired? Yes, a bit. Yeah. A little bit, a little travel back and forth from back to home? Yesterday we had the uh, other side of our business, more business side. I know, I missed it. Yes. It was uh, pretty busy yesterday. My interviews were limited, but you're back with another version of the Piper. Yes, one more Piper. Oh, two more Pipers. Two not more. Not just one. Two. Not just one, but yes. two. Two more Pipers. So, so uh, go ahead. This is uh, Piper 1. This is Piper 2. Uh, the Piper 1 version 3. Piper 2 version 2. Let me just go. So, then this is Piper 4, or Piper Infinity. And this is Piper 100. <laughs> I took fifth place yesterday, by what the way. Fifth? Fifth Five. place. Yes. Yes. Very cool. So, I did not get to capture any of that. Those but. two last, uh, the two new Pipers. And was was that printed on the Infinite? Infinite? No, 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 it was printed on the brother of this uh, Piper 2. So tell me a little bit. Obviously, there's got to be some inspiration from some of the other belt printers, obviously. Sure. Yes, uh, I see, I saw. So tell me, tell me a little bit about what you got. So this is uh, Piper Infinity, new member of the family. Uh, the inspiration were like some other infinite printers and the attention of the uh, community to, to them. Uh, so what I decided, I mean, I already had a very good and rigid uh, gantry from Piper 2. So placing it 45 degree, uh, coming up with the construction of the belt, boom, it's ready. So what are you using for the belt right now? Uh, this particular belt is a polyester film, uh, which is, uh, and also this is layered polyester film. The first layer is polyester. The second layer is a magnetic, a flexible magnet. Uh, what it, and there is, the belt also has a shim, low carbon shim with PTFE film on top. So what is happening is the belt is attracted to, uh, to the bed and uh, PTFE film allows it to slide uh, easy. Uh, Very cool. This kind of printers is prone to one uh, small problem. If you're using wrong belt, uh, the part will start rocking on a, on a, on a, on a belt. And the plans for this are all on Thingiverse. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, and is this part of the family that you've got parts that you're selling for as well on your on your site? Uh, you can yes, buy a kit. I'm, really, uh, I'm not selling them, but you may contact me. Order. I can create one like this for you. Okay. Do you want one? I'd love to have <laughs> one if you want to create, make me one. But the problem that I have right now is I don't have room enough for the ones that I've got, let alone to add any more. You, you don't need this. You don't need that. You just need I, one. I, you I, see? I probably and could get can, rid of everything. And you can print 250 with this one. 250, 176, one mile, two miles, three miles. <laughs> now, what is the biggest thing that you've printed? Uh, the biggest thing was the brother of this, original brother of uh, Piper 100. Very cool. So it didn't go anywhere. It was, I, I was about to, I mean, but you, you see what is happening here? Yeah. So it's, it's finished the first, uh, with the first bench, and it's already it's not finished. The next one. It's starting next one, so it's seamless print. Hey. So it's a seamless print from one to another. And is it something in the slicer that you just tell them how many you want, or can you just uh, print one if you wanted to? This feature doesn't work, unfortunately. Uh, 
uh, with this uh, slicer. It may work for black belt, but not for uh, other printers. Okay. The feature, how many want you want to repeat, it's, it's not working. So you have to place multiple on a belt and then slice them and go. I still, you still see that you're pretty active in the, the Facebook community. How's that going for you? Yeah, yeah. We're growing. I mean, we already have like 662 members. It's amazing, group. isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. So. And I already got, I got a video coming what, out uh, of the nine-headed tool nine. changer. No, not nine. Thirteen. Yes. Thirteen tools. Right. Yeah, he's the, the ones that are working are nine is what he said. Okay. That's where they're not sorry. Okay. But yeah, so there's a laser head on it and a CNC head on it. But that's it's it's crazy what what's it's happening, crazy, you know. Yes. You you can build a printer and then once you've got the frame, then you can just do any kind of modification you want with it. And sure. people are actually doing it. So it's awesome. So if you haven't got to at least be part of the, the community and uh, check out the other build videos that I've made, I'll leave links in the description as to where you can find that. But Alex, it's always good to see you and, and thank you for uh, sharing. Thank you, man. Keep coming back, everybody, because there's going to be more inside the mind of Matt. Happy printing and be safe pouring. Peace.